Glenn. I know this is late, but I still wanted to share with you guys all the amazing items I got from Emerald City Comic Con. This year's Emerald City Comic Con was on the last weekend of March. We ended up going on the first day, which was Friday the 27th, and it was our first time attending. We had a fantastic time. I cosplayed as the Winter Soldier version of Captain America, and Kenny, my boyfriend, cosplayed as the new comic book version of Hawkeye. During the convention, I ended up running into Jesse and Chin Chin from Heroes of Cosplay and getting a couple pictures. Anyways, on to the haul. First up is buttons. We got this whole lot from the same seller because they were having a sale where if you buy a lot, you got them cheaper. Uh, half are mine, some are Kenny's, and some are for friends. We got double of this Bonnie one for a friend. Next lot is all mine. They're all from different sellers. This candy corn button was from a really awesome booth called Steam Crow. You should really check them out. And this pizza button was really awesome because it felt like rubber. While I was looking at another booth, Kenny surprised me and got us these adorable keychains. Hawkeye and a Bucky for me. Then I bought him this print. It looks like a pop vinyl and it has a few inside jokes from the Hawkeye comics. Speaking of pop vinyls, we got this Age of Ultron version of Hawkeye as well. It's got a load of tiny details and it's a bobblehead. And from a booth we've seen at PAX before, Fan Gamer, I got Kenny this Mega Man mug. It came with one out of four possible coasters, and the box was really cute. The bottom says, Game Over. Also from Fan Gamer is this Star Fox themed t-shirt. I love the attention to detail with the printed size label, and almost every one of their t-shirts comes with a matching button. While we were browsing the booths upstairs, I noticed a small booth was doing character commissions for only $5. They were really cute, so I got one of us done. He drew me super smiley because he drew Kenny first, and I thought it was really cute, and I kept smiling the whole time. I bought this glow-in-the-dark shirt from the same booth after the artist's son informed me that he'd get a raise in his allowance if he was able to sell one shirt and the glow in the dark on it is super awesome. The booth I was most excited to see was the We Love Fine booth. Sadly they didn't have any of the shirts I wanted in my size but I was able to grab this really awesome bee and puppy cat scarf with all the little dancing puppy cats on it. This next item I almost got at PAX last year but I didn't have enough money so I was really glad to be able to get it this year at Comic Con and it is the Ramona Flowers bag from Scott Pilgrim and the people that produce the comics, Oni Press, was selling it at their booth and it is amazingly detailed. It even has pictures on the inside of the comic book characters and this is now my everyday purse. I love it so much. Now on to the smaller stuff. First up, the patches. I got the Angry Donald, the Gur junk food, and the X-Men patch all at the same booth. The X-Men patch is actually for a Scott Pilgrim themed jacket that I have. And what's funny is actually this burger patch and this next burger sticker are uh, made from the same guy that helped color uh, Brian Lee O'Malley's uh, comics, so Scott Pilgrim in seconds, and I didn't know that until uh, I started making this video, so that's pretty funny. And next up are the rest of the stickers. Um, I will try to have the link to all the stores down below, or just the names, so you guys can look them up if you're interested as well. Next, I'll show you all the card type items that I collected. The first being the tag from my Ramona bag, and the rest being like business cards that I grabbed from people I bought from, or from art that I thought looked cool, or some are actually art prints themselves.
And now, one of the main reasons why we went to Comic-Con, comics. So this first one is the new issue of Hawkeye. It had a blank front so that someone could sign it, but we didn't get any autographs or anything. And next is from Boom Studios, which makes a lot of really cute comics. I was able to get all of the Steven Universe comics. There are eight. Then I was able to pick up a couple I'm missing, like this Marceline one, and this Helsing one was for free, we got it randomly, and then the October Faction, which this was the newest issue when we went. And I saved the best for last, since I was cosplaying as Captain America. I am super obsessed with the Stucky ship of Bucky Barnes and Steve and I found some Stucky stickers and they're just adorable like this one they're just it was really Kuma and uh, Bucky is grumpy cat that's just too too adorable I love these stickers so much I'm probably never gonna use them but they are just so cute That is it for my Comic-Con haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to y'all later.